Welcome to Turning Tuesday. This week is a continuation of the bulk prep series. This week we are playing with the lathe. We are going to drill out the four different body styles and get them ready. There's some absolutely spectacular blanks in here and some definitely did not survive this process. I will go over what went wrong and how it's probably going to happen again in the future. I started this week by doing the single wood piece pen blanks. So the ones that only have a single piece of wood uh, and towards the end of the video are the ones that have a lidden body or twist in the middle. So I'm just drilling out some claret ash now. I believe this is going to be for elegant beauty body styles. You'll notice that I use two different methods of drilling it out. Depending on if the wood's a bit softer or harder, I will either move the entire tailstock, which as you'll see here, I've just done it that way, or I will drill it out by winding and using the actual wheel of the tailstock. Clumsy as ever. This is one of those pieces of sheer oak and it's going to be absolutely stunning. Having a quick look at this one, this is a piece of Tasmanian oak with a sap inclusion. another one with a sap inclusion. Pretty sure it's from the same piece of wood. One of those two I'm fairly certain blew out from around the sap inclusion itself. And now he's looking at a red Mally bell. Purple heart. I've just heard that little noise. I still had the index lock on. Now this one, you may notice all of those different sap inclusions. This is going to be a very interesting one. It may explode, it may not explode. I can't remember. Mm, looks like this one survived. There is one later that definitely does not. 
It's going to be interesting because it might not actually survive the turning process itself. If it does, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be gorgeous. Yes, this one survived the initial drilling, but I'm not entirely sure if it will survive the main turning. The sap, the sap lines going through there are very thinly attached and they don't always hold. I've had some successful pens with the sap inclusions, but never that much sap. So, might be a uh, compilation of failures coming up. Talking of a failure, I did not cut this piece down small enough. And after this cut, I spent probably five minutes trying to get it back out of the pen jaws. Moving on to some silky oak. Okay, so the first series of pens were not for the Elegant Beauty. These are the Elegant Beauty. The first ones were the bolt action rifle style, the Mark II. a beautiful piece of black heart sassafras i slowed this down to real time because i just love that spiral as it's going around sassafras is extremely soft the pens that come from this are going to be very light As you can hear, things did not go right. So the drill started off on a skew and it stayed on that trajectory. And yeah, split in half. As you can see, there's a lot of fine detail in those sap inclusions and they just don't hold. So even if it did make it through the turning, the um, drilling process, there's still a low chance it'll survive the turning process itself. I'm probably going to try and increase my chances with those by soaking them in glue or something first. Or maybe some epoxy. You may have noticed that during this video I've gone through a heap of different species. That's purely because I'm wanting a nice variety to be ready so I can just pick it up and run with it. So in the next video it will be going through the gluing process. That's going to be an extremely short video because it doesn't take that long. And then in the following week we will get back into videos around making products themselves.
Now, this little jump cut after this one, I have increased the size of the drill. So I do an initial 10 mil drill out for this body, and then I'd go up to an 11. And I turn the speed right down, and I just buzz quick through, through it. I found that gets a fairly nice snug fit for the body of the uh, fountain pen and roller bowl with lid that I do. You may notice I don't have many drill bits left. I've gone through most of the blanks now and I'm headed into the final phases. You'll notice that drill took it right out to the edge of that sap inclusion. That's going to be quite a beautiful pen. This one I decided to go straight in with the largest size and try to get that sap inclusion piece back after I blew one up earlier. now so we're on to the biggest drill bit that I use now, this pen body is supposed to take a 12 and a half mil I found that using a 12 mil but increasing the speed as I don't have a 12 and a half mil gets almost a perfect fit doesn't always work like that so I just sometimes have to give it a little bit of a nudge across to the side and let the auger of the drill bit just chew away a quarter of a mil tiny tiny little bit as you saw the lid of that blank with the inclusion also has an inclusion, so it should be a beautiful matching pair. This sap inclusion may be too far away to end up inside the pen body. With any luck, it will have created some shit points around where that sap inclusion existed. It will have sent some wild grain, depending on how the tree grew. Now 
I am doing this late at night. I am starting to make more mistakes, you may have noticed. Unfortunately, I heard this one go and I knew there was going to be a split in it. So, turned it off, had a look how bad it was. Very disappointed with myself. As I said, it was getting late. This is about 11 o'clock at night. I'm making mistakes. I should have stopped and not continued. I'm human. As I said in my previous videos, I make mistakes. I'm only human. If you're enjoying my content, please consider liking, subscribing. If you've got tips or recommendations on how to do any of this better, please share because I would love to see and hear what the community has to say about it. Now on my next clip, I did call it a night and that's where I'm going to call the video a close. And this is where I exploded my last blank and it was probably the best explosion yet.